In a world of boring talk, misinformation, and mindless chatter, two superheroes emerge from the asses and, and ashes. Ben, is this asses or ashes? Huzzah! Bring the action. Happy hour with Ben and Alexander. Pull up a chair. Raise a glass. Enjoy the chat. <laughs> it's talk radio with jazz hands. Oh, my God. You had to say that. Oh, my Lord. Here we go. <laughs> I don't think I, I, I don't even think like jazz hands like like covers. We're it. gonna turn it up tonight, folks. What kind of hands do we have? We got like pool hands. You're diving, in, you're the diving pool. into the pool. I think I dove off the deep end of the pool. By the way, <laughs> you always dive <laughs> off into the deep end, son. <laughs> so you know me. I never like food just just bland. What? I like wait, to put wait a right off the bat, we're going to the food. Oh, All food. right, swing for it. <laughs> yes. Uh, I like to put a little pepper on my food. Yes, oh, you. Oh, you like that intro? Uh, I yeah. see where he's going with that. <laughs> Today we have the dance diva herself. Oh. In the house. Peppa Mache. Rocking it out! All right, y'all. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> there we go! Oh, I heard that. Am I live? Can you hear me? Can we turn? Okay. Am I, I live too? Yeah, I couldn't hear myself. Okay, okay. That's all right. No worries. Let's move forward. So, Peppa Mache. Who you know is performing with us live tomorrow, tomorrow. in West Hollywood. I can't wait. It's going to be insane. I cannot wait either. <laughs> <laughs> How did we even manage this? I don't know. You're, you're incredible. Uh, her, her PR person, Mike Pingle. Oh. Named right. after the famous Pringles, but they disowned him and they cut the R out. With the Pingle. <laughs> Mike Pingle. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Michael Hennessy. Two Ns, two Ss. Two Ns, two Ss, always. He's known as Mystery Mike. Oh, we're gonna find out why. why? He's gonna be doing something this weekend as, as well uh, with Pepper. So we're gonna all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming at you live from Sunset Gower Studios here in the heart of Hollywood. Southall Radio is proud to present the Queen Diva herself of dance, Pepper Mache. <laughs> What's going on, Mama? You know, baby, I'm doing fine. Oh, yeah, girl, yeah, she are. is doing fine. Now, people don't realize you're actually your your first name when you ventured out was Pepper Mache. Hey, but it was Pepper too Mache. long on the on the marquee. Exactly, but you know they they <laughs> they did something to the the last name on the first record and they had to take it back. Mache. They, they, it was like like Machete or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's only and in Mexico. You can buy her singles Pepper Machete. I, I swear <laughs> it was M A C H E with a with an accent over the E, and I told him, no. Oh, that's your Hebrew name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that what it was? So says Alexander, yes. anyway. The, the, oh. Wait a minute. Hebrew for the chosen diva of <laughs> pride. Oh, pride. Oh, pride. But I like mache. I mache. like it, too. So tell us about the creation of, of your name. Michael O'Hara, who's a good friend of mine and um, was a producer at the time back in 93, he started working with me on demos to do my presentation. And he literally took me outside the backyard of my house at the time, and he says, G. McLean, that's a, that's a nice name, but that's not gonna cut it. <laughs> <laughs> we need something a little bit more snazzy. <laughs> so he started just saying out names, and, and then he looked at me, he says, you know what, your freckles look like little peppercorns. Oh. Aww. And I said, you know what, I don't have anything against the, the name Pepper. How about we do a, a takeoff of, like, paper mache? Creating something out of paper. Mm. <laughs> but, with yes, pepper. Yes, yes. but with pepper. But with pepper. You got to make so it spicy. I wanted to make it as if it was like, it, it just would make people laugh. Mm. Yeah. And make them feel happy. So we came up with pepper mache. I, I love it. And you know, Pepper's one of brilliant. my favorite girls from Annie, the musical. Oh, Annie, geez. she's so annoying. Just Jeez. go whine about right. people. Like, whatever. <laughs> Pepper's <laughs> the one that's like, put up your dudes. <laughs> I'm here, you know, like, Miss Hannigan, just go sit down. Yes. Annie's like, oh, bleeping lizards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No. Pepper, speaking about, earlier, about the Midwest earlier, you grew, you're a Midwest girl yourself. I right? was I was uh, born in Muncie, Indiana. You got Ball that from State, the internet, by the way. Ball State Jar. <laughs> no, I went to, I, I went to, went to volleyball <laughs> camps at Ball, oh, Ball State. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, I was there up until the fifth grade, and my father, uh, my stepfather at the time, was in the military. So I'm a military brat wow. also. You, you traveled a lot then. We, we traveled a little bit. My mother wasn't having it. She <laughs> said, no, no, no. <laughs> no she said, no, no, no. <laughs> she does it better. That's going to be the name of her next single. It's going to be, no, no, no. My mama was uh, an assistant with the surgical team. Oh, wow. So she was able to stay on the bases oh, no where shit. we would you know where my father would end up at and 
as a as a person to work for the hospital, she got special privileges. Hey, hey, hey. And we were able to stay when my father would have to go to Vietnam. Oh, wow. Because oh. he worked in the, he was uh, part of the supply section of, of the military, supplying all the Jeeps, Holy the food, shit. clothing, everything. Mm. So we were able to stay. So I ended up at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. <laughs> yes, you are a Midwest girl. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you pick up your early music sounds? Oh, my God. You know what? Me and John Hyatt, I don't know if you know John Hyatt. He's a really great singer-songwriter who's famous. <laughs> he basically said around the same time when I was listening to the radio, we were supposed to be asleep by 8 o'clock at night Please. in the 60s. Instead of being in a sleep, we would get the little radio, the little transistor radios, yeah. and we would put them under our pillow. Oh, no. I literally. Love that. And be dialing all up and down the band, look, looking for rock music, pop, and they played everything back then. It wasn't separated or on satellite. Oh, wow. It was all on AM radio, and that's what we did growing up. That's, that's, that's incredible. That's, that's so I got awesome. to hear everybody from the beginning. The Righteous Brothers, what? Gary, Gary and the Pacemakers, the Beatles when they came out. I actually had the sweatshirt that I'm so looking for right now. <laughs> right back then, okay, the real stuff back in '63, '64. But I, I got started in pop music in '61, '62, uh -huh. listening to all the groups. Well, I love that. And the uh -huh. '60s was such a hot time for oh music God, just because general, you started to yeah. hear these different sounds coming mm -hmm. in. The yeah. Beatles started to to change the sound. They started hearing yes, they did these other sounds we never had heard, where it went from like kind of poppy '50s, whatever. Well, you know, they brought yeah, they brought the in the forefront Little Richard, yeah, mm -hmm. Chuck Berry, yes, people that we had always heard because with my father being from Nashville, a lot of that stuff we were getting along with the country, I love the country that. music. And the gospel music. That's fascinating. Yeah. That is truly fascinating. You also worked with uh, Miss Tina Turner yeah. on What's Love Got to Do With It, which is my favorite movies. <laughs> <laughs> if you break up, yeah. you better rent that. Exactly. And then you'll be like, I'm okay. What is that kind of experience? I mean, <laughs> first of all, I have to uh, give kudos to Robbie Neville, mm -hmm. who referred me for, for the gig. And I was able to, con I was the contractor for that special project. I got the other two singers and myself, it was three of us, and we actually did the soundtrack live with the band wow. at Record Plant at the time. This was like in 94, 95. Yeah. Just awesome. And when I, when I saw her, I couldn't believe it. This woman was so beautiful. She's like 5'5". Five five. She was Chanel. She's that short? From the, she was 5'5", five because five, <laughs> I'm 5'9". <five nine. laughs> yeah. And I towered <laughs> over her. I couldn't believe it, but she was Chanel from the top to the bottom. Love Boo. it. <laughs> Boo. Her skin was like caramel. Yeah. Milk and honey. And she's a vegetarian, so the way she presented herself. But we still herself, like her. Mm -hmm. We still like oh, her. Oh, it's oh, beautiful. No, she's, she's, she's awesome. I don't trust vegetarians. <laughs> you don't? Do you know how you can tell somebody's vegetarian? How? They tell you about it every minute of the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was well, she was good. She didn't yeah. do that. No, she I'm kept just teasing. It. But she did have. She could tell me anything. She honestly. had a little red potatoes in 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 little Ziploc bags. In the baby. studio. In the studio. Just to gnaw on or for good luck. Just to gnaw on. <laughs> just to gnaw. On. Speaking of that studio, do you like that studio experience when you go into the studio? Do you like it? Some artists don't like it, but do you find? I started at 18, so I was used to it by then, baby. Yeah. But she had to hit me in my stomach. What? She had, for breathing? She, had to, she had to slap me for my diaphragm. She says, I want to hear it from there. I was so nervous. That's the breathing diaphragm. Being thing. around her, she says, I want to hear it from there. No shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and after that, it, it, it was like it was like my christening. I love it. You're be, okay, baby. Oh, but I had her, her kind of angst and her kind of passion and all that uh, are things that you ex exemplify in all of your music. How did you get into the area of dance? I know I've said this before, Michael, right? We said it. I'm I was here. told at a certain <laughs> age that I was too old what? and that time had passed me by. What? 
it. Who told and you that? <laughs> I'm not going to name the, any names. The powers that but be. But it was dur- uh, the, uh, the uh, powers uh, that be. It was Boy we George. Love, we <laughs> <laughs> now look where he's at. No, no, no. Don't blame him because I actually did recordings with him. Oh, yeah. oh he's oh, wonderful. Well, I love yeah. him. Yeah. I no, love no, no, no. <laughs> but I actually was, you know, some of the labels actually said, we love her. We know her talent. But it's just, we want someone younger. That's horse. Uh, Please tell me what gay man does not idolize women of every age, from Shirley Bassey. But when it, when yeah. it's Elaine when, it, when the but voice is there, why does it matter what age yeah, it is? Exactly. Yeah, but see, I wasn't told by a man; it was a woman. Okay. Haters, Get out haters. Out of here. So what? What mm. friends of mine told me that I was I was um, I had come across while I was working with Vonda Shepard. <laughs> they told me, don't worry about the market here in the United States. Think across the water. Yes, ma'am. They don't care what you look like, who you are, how old, as long as you can wahoo. <laughs> as long as you can sing. Mm. And that's what I exact that's exactly what I did. Now did yes, you respond you to the dance music beats? Did you respond to that genre? Or you were like totally oh, gonna, oh. the energy behind Because it. I was also a funk meister, honey, with Sly <laughs> yes. and the Family Stone. Yes. You know, when you're from the Northern <laughs> California, you better get with that thumb <laughs> <laughs> on the bass. <laughs> this is awesome. You hear me? <laughs> this you is better incredible. get down with the get down. So when they started doing the house, the real house, I call it that real funk, funkified stuff. They would mm. it was sounding like gospel music, literally. Mm-hmm. And being raised Catholic, we didn't get the whoop and the hollering. <laughs> Do you know why my mom used to say this? Jesus died on a cross, not in a disco. <laughs> oh, no, she didn't say that. <laughs> I make t-shirts like that. How funny would that be? And she's like, hey, girl. What? That would be awesome because, you know, I've, I've heard it actually said that all that hollering, and all that screaming, we can do a little less without that. <laughs> yeah, but then you go but to Catholic fun. church and like, you know it. Oh, all, what we what we were singing, Alexander, we were singing all. All you need is love. Oh, yeah. We had made up. We had moved up a notch by just bringing in Beatles songs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were singing that in 1970. And you know what? Jesus would approve. I'm sorry. He was yeah. progressive. It's yeah. music. <laughs> it's a you universal know, let's language, Let's get some rap right? up in here. <laughs> Come on, Pope. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but uh, like, speaking of like, those big belts and the power notes and, and, and the pop stuff, how do you yeah, even yeah, figure yeah. out you can do that? Do you uh, just – I'm, I'm serious. I mean, the, what you can do with your voice is kind of incredible. Because, I, you know, when, you, when you've been – you know, really kind of when you learned off of Aretha Franklin, yeah. <laughs> when you listen to the old style radios where you sit down at the floor and you listen to that all that bass and that sound coming out of the stereo, you can't help but want to sing like that. And when I started pursuing music on that kind of a level, it, it just made you want to belt out. It made you want to sing hard. You know, and uh, like uh, Ben and I work with singers because we do our, our night at Don't Tell Mama and, you know, we've kind of traveled around. Because of the new age of auto tune, because of the new age of this, oh. we literally have these singers and they go up and they go, oh, I'm rocking out. And that's all that comes out. No. Right. Like you sing because you can't hold it in. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's because of all this electronic stuff, which is you fight against in dance music. Right. You don't be hide, the hide, uh, hide behind the beats, whatever. <laughs> You have to sing. If you're going to be a singer, be able to sing. A lot of people have told me right to my face, and they, it's, I don't take it as an insult. It's just an idea of how people have been raised in the last 20 and 30 years of popular music. They necessarily don't like hard singing women. No, they don't. It's very but masculine. Why? Mm-hmm. It's very masculine. Well, but I don't find you masculine, and I don't find Shirley Bassey masculine. I don't <laughs> either, but it's, it's just to the point that some people's ears, and, and it's the tastemakers mm. who decide on what they want to present to the public. And that's the reason why you've been noticing a lot less of house yes, yes. gospel singers like Martha Walsh, yeah. uh, Jocelyn Brown, all of them. Those people that I listened to when I decided to do house music. You might have the little pretty frilly singers. Uh-huh. I love what they do, but it's just not me. It's a production. It's just a, it's a big Well, production. I agree with what Tina used to say. She says, I approach it from a masculine point of view. Yes, ma'am. What the boys are doing. That's that's how I do and it. And that's true. I love it. Why is there any difference? And, and speaking of like the power, like you, well, your voice, correct me if I'm wrong, was it, was it dubbed a hundred times in Whitney's um, My Love Is Your Love? Yeah. And thank God for Thunderpuss 2000, Chris Cox uh-huh. and Barry Harris. <laughs> putting me on that track because it was an honor at the time when I did it, you mm-hmm. know, just thinking of what, you know, Whitney was going through and, and the message of that song. It yes, was ma'am. it was a delight. 
That's now, just briefly before we go for break, I want to talk about yeah, Queer as Folk. I want to hear the song, yeah. Uh, and <coughs> we're actually going to play wha- one of your newest songs, and we're going to take a, a quick little break. But real fast, Queer as Folk. I mean, yes. people Queer as Folk, come on! <laughs> they went through, I think, six <laughs> different seasons or five different seasons. The song that everybody talks about, the voice you hear, oh, Queer as Folk. They remember where they were when they first heard it. They remember the episode. They remember what's going on with the characters. You have become kind of a cast member of Queer as Folk. How did you uh, get to recording? That was all Barry Harris and his friends Mm -hmm. from out of Canada who literally took the track in to the producers. Wow. And they fell in love with it. How could you not fall in love with that song? It's so fun. From the moment it starts. have a phone call. Hey, caller, where are you calling from? What's your name? Hey, girl. They're gone. They're gone. All right. We'll but, call but back. people uh, on the chat will want to hear you sing. Oh. Uh, well, we're going to we'll we'll take, we'll take a break. Uh, yeah. Maybe on the way out, she'll give us a little sneak peek of some oh, stuff. Oh, yes, all right? baby. All right. So let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back. All right, yeah. guys? This All right, and we're back, guys. Be, this we're is back my new song. On my t- <laughs> tell us a, just a briefly a little bit ab- about that song. It's called Dance Floor. And, and I've ended up on many dance floors. <laughs> not standing up, it. though. That's the reason why I put two, no, R's, no, no. two R's in the floor. Oh, I good. put two R's. <laughs> but it, it really is a song about when I they brought me into Ibiza. That's sick. It was sick. It was sick. I bet you were very popular with the Spanish boys. You know, it was so crazy that being in that country, let alone seeing the people who were all coming mm-hmm. in to vacation. They were all high. Yes, ma'am. I, I don't do drugs or prescription drugs. Tylenol is about as best I can get. <laughs> That's about as most I can get out well, of you it. Because do, you, you're already there. People tend to do drugs to think that they're getting there. You're, right. You're there. We actually have, have a call in, right? Oh, cool. Hey, girl. Hey, Colin, hey, where are you calling I'm, from? What's your name? Oh, Edward. I'm calling to talk to Ben and Alexander and Pepper. Hey, hey Ben. Oh, how hi, are you, honey? buddy? You're on there. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh. How are you, Ben? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Having a good time. Are you enjoying the show? Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. I know. Pepper's incredible, show. right? What did, yeah. you wanna, what did you want to share with us today? 
I was just calling to say that I love your show and I love Pepper's music and I really enjoy oh. watching you guys. Thanks, awesome. Brother. awesome. Thank you, baby. Are you near Los Angeles? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the I'm in the suburbs. I'm not here near like Diamond Bar. Yeah, where's a good friend of oh, mine? Great. Oh, great! So we'll see you tomorrow at our live show at Hotel Yeah, he'll, be, he'll come out. <laughs> and yeah, see I'll us. try to come out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We Thanks, promise yeah. a good time. And then when you're there, come up and say, "Hey, girl, hey." Yeah, come on and say uh, okay, hi to cool. me. Anyway, I love you, Pepper. I love your music. You're awesome. Thank you, baby. I Thanks, appreciate Edward, it. for calling. <laughs> All right, take care. See you, man. See ya. So Spain, Ibiza. Yeah, it was. And I'm glad you say Ibiza because it's like let's keep it. Let let's keep it. What it is? Ibiza. I, I kept getting confused. Where's the Ibiza? At? <laughs> what Ibiza? It doesn't look Where like Ibiza. It looks like Ibiza. <laughs> Ibiza. I always said that. I'm like, come on, people. Like, it's Los Feliz, not Los Feliz. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. But I went on at 5:30 in the morning. They were still up. Uh, they were still they were, raging. And they put me in front of a of a pool. Oh. Uh, with all sense. these naked boys. <laughs> Of course they did. Lined up around the pool. Everybody wanted to dive in the pool. <laughs> they did. They did. <laughs> they did. I would it was, too. It was Why a not? little shocking, a little a little nerve wracking for that for that event. But yeah. it was it was interesting. So not only are you performing with us tomorrow on stage at Don't Tell Mama, yes, eight PM yes. this weekend, and I wanna I wanna talk to uh Mike Hennessy who has joined us. What's going on, brother? How are you, man? <laughs> Hey. Yeah. Yeah. hey! It's like that. I can't hear you over your tie. It's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, look at the color of his eyes pop with the color of his yes. shirt. And Marvin the Martian was one of my favorites. <laughs> what do you two have cooking up this weekend? Well, uh, Pepper and I actually met at an event called Saddle Up about four years ago Yes, baby. Uh, with the Life Group LA, and we oh, became awesome. instant yeah. friends. And we've been talking for the last two years about doing a fundraiser um, with her doing a one-woman show. And for two years, it's been in the making. And then finally in September, she said, hey, girl, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's said, happening, yes, girl. Yes, it's yes. happening. <laughs> she yes, said, yes, yes. February 23rd, are you in? I said, I'm in. I'm in. So yeah. um, we're doing a live show. She's doing a one-woman show. Well, two women, actually. Pepper yes, Mache Oh, she's a schizophrenic. Jean. I did I'm not a, know exactly. that. We did not exactly. discuss that. It happens. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Sybil Ann. <laughs> and it's for, uh, it's for the Life Group LA, uh, thelifegroupla.org. It's a wonderful organization uh, founded by Sonny Roseberger. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you about Life Group LA, because I know Sonny, and I've run the silent auction a couple of years. I was also part oh. of the West Hollywood Cheerleaders. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Nobody wants to see me drag anymore. They were like, uh, please stop. <laughs> Sonny Roseberger is one of the most heartfelt yep. nonprofit um, executive directors I've ever seen. Yes. Exactly. You know, with so many nonprofits, half of the money goes into whose pockets, then it, yep. some of it finally ends up. She literally has given the shirt off her back to help yes. this organization. Taking yes. out second mortgages. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Isn't, is, isn't yeah. that what I just told you on yeah, the way over? Is. It really love Sonny. Love this organization. Yep. To have Pepper as part of this. Yes. And Saddle Up um, LA is such a fun event. Can you talk a little bit uh, about that? Absolutely. About yeah. I actually got involved with it the first year mm -hmm. back in 2006. Um, uh, Sonny invited me to come to a barbecue, and then she announced that they're going to do Saddle Up. And I just met her. And she, I did a PSA for the event. I played a wacky cowboy. It was very lots of fun. No. And then I got to typecasting. Um, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. and, and I actually rode that year. It's been. I think it's this is the ninth year coming up. But I've hosted the awards event. Like afterwards, they have a big awards event. Yep. And I've hosted that, and we've had comedians and performers. And Pepper's been there. You've been involved since 2010, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, and it's wonderful. It's a horseback ride for AIDS. So it's basically a take on the bike ride, but it's on horses. Yes. Oh, wow. We let the horses do all the work. <laughs> now, let me tell you, these men are in their jeans and cowboy hats. Oh, That's all. look out. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. And people say gay men don't eat. Well, there's a barbecue that's after Saddle Up. Oh, yeah. That's LA. Right. Yeah. Uh, they, they eat. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's a great event. And, and we just had the eighth one uh, last July. And uh, I believe the ninth one is happening in July. Again, and we'll be there again. And I uh, hope I'm there this year. I've been on a um, road with <clears throat> Hugh Lowry. Oh, oh, I know. I wanted to, so he has a band. He's got Who a knew band that he sang. He's he's got a band. He can play keyboards and guitar. He'll Is it a you. house band? Oh. It's not a house band. No, not a house <laughs> band. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, he, the, but but this Sunday you are performing uh, as a benefit for Life Group LA. Yes. Where can people find out and get tickets? Uh, where, well. It's online on our Facebook pages. Yeah, it's on uh, Pepper Mache's Facebook page. It's mm -hmm. also, if you go to my website, is IamMiracleMike.com. Mm -hmm. 
I have the uh, flyer up there that has the website to go and buy tickets. There are 23 online, and at the mm. door, there are 25. Yes. Perfect. Right and on. it's from 2 to 5 on Sunday. And, and it's I'm for actually a great cause. Yeah, I'm the master of ceremonies, yes. and uh, it's we're going to have a wonderful time. I'll be interviewing Pepper for like a 20-minute interview on stage. and. We'll have to put it up on all of yeah, our we'll social media. Yeah, we'll put it up media. on our blog. Uh, and it's yeah. so important yeah. to also support, you know, the big nonprofits. You know, they get all the marketing. Yeah. They get the billboards. They get, you know, yeah. Charlize and Theron doing this <laughs> on stage. Can, I, yes. right. can yeah. I just say, like, real quick, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm actually a 24-year um, AIDS survivor. So uh, the Life Group LA, is, it's an extraordinary place because they actually encourage people right and they empower people with HIV and AIDS. Yes. They don't, like, give you a Band-Aid. They actually give right. you a plan. So that's why I, I love the Life Group LA, and I volunteer a lot for her, and I promote her as much as I can. Yes. Because I am, you know, 24 years, I'm a vic victor over AIDS, and yeah. I, I love that's Sunny. That's incredible. So I'm that just really very supportive of her and what she does. Her support so. has been tremendous. Yeah. And it sounds like she goes to great lengths, just, and, and she, she truly really believes. Does. She, yeah. gives, she gives like 1,000% every, every time. And she has great, great events, uh, Pause Life Weekends, where people come who are in infected and affected by AIDS. And it changes your life. I mean, it yeah. can really change your life. And they're free. They're free for people to go to. They're yeah. free. So, I mean, yeah. literally, she's kind of literally. Yeah, paid for it. They also have a great uh, uh, workshop where people who are dating somebody yes. who's positive. Yep. And I have to be honest. I, I'm still so ignorant to the whole, you know, the whole knowledge positive. Knowledge is power. Yeah, yeah. Knowledge We make is the power. greatest lovers. <laughs> best lovers. Oh. Best <laughs> 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 and we actually <laughs> have another phone call. Hey, caller, where, where are you calling from and what is your name? Hey, girl. Hey, this is Sunny. Sunny! Hey, Sunny! Hey, Sunny. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Sunny! Hey, girl. Thank you for calling in. Yes, baby. <laughs> hey girls, hey, how are you? You should, you should be here. Yes, ma'am. Oh my God, I'm loving the love. You guys are all so good to me. We so, love you, baby. Let me You're tell the you, light of our lives. Let, 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 let me let me just share something. So, also in the nonprofit world, people are so busy giving of their time. Yeah. They tend to look a little like, mm. oh, like, oh, what, what are you gonna oh. say? No, <laughs> Sunny Burger is one of the uh, the sexiest executive yes. directors I've ever yes. seen. Oh, oh yeah. look out! Yeah. It's true. Yes. Boys, yeah. women, uh, well, Horses. anything responds. It's like, hang on. It's like, <laughs> there's like a little shift. It's like, oh. Uh -oh. oh, my gosh. Really? I apologize for this. Sonny, you are sexy. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just yeah. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. I'm so grateful to all of y'all oh. for talking about Life Group and talking about this program that Pepper has put, it, put together with her partner and we're, with, we're gonna talk about with that, yeah. Mike. It's this is going to be a great gig. You guys yes. have to come yeah. show her some love. Absolutely. All for a great cause. Oh. And so, Sunny, like, literally, you're rolling up your sleeves with all of your amazing volunteers, yep. and I've never seen a volunteer base so loyal to an organization. Yeah. How can people support you? They should go to your mm -hmm. Facebook yes. page and like you. What do you need, yeah, what other number ways? one? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know, we are the smallest grassroots organization in mm. L.A. Yeah, wow. We do one thing. We do it really good. We don't duplicate services that the other organizations get funded for. We actually don't take any federal funding because it's attached to names reporting, and it's not my business to give out other people's business. <laughs> and so mm. we really fund our programs by doing grassroots yeah. fundraising events. and. Alexander, you kind of know, you know, having been with the cheerleaders, that we do raffle tickets, you know, we do little parties, and this concert is, you know, going to be one of our signature events yeah. this year. Wow. We, we do Saddle Up every year, and we also do um, the Drag Queen World Series, which has been another really fun kind of signature event. It's a grassroots small organization you know, we have to come up with creative ways to try to make money without having to spend a lot of money. And I actually oh. played in one of these softball games. Oh, it was, <laughs> it was a vision for everyone to see. That was the day I forgot to cover up my original eyebrows. I had four eyebrows for no, that you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I have pictures. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Put no, them up, don't. Sonny. No, Put them don't. up. Sonny, we hope so many people come out Sunday, and thank you so much. For, thank you for calling for, for calling in. in. Yeah, thank you oh. so much. Thank you guys so Love much. You, I'm so Bye, grateful. Honey. Absolutely. So LifeGroupLA.org. Yes. yes. The uh, website. So yes. briefly, so uh, Pepper, you are working on this uh, with your with your partner. With my wife. That's awesome. My wife, Ellen, 
Ellen decided she wanted to get involved with this uh, particular uh, concert because of the fact that that's how we met. Mm. The second year when I, wow. uh, you know, I had been volunteering to be the entertainment mm -hmm. during the meal yeah. because they would always give me a horse. I love horses. <laughs> of course. They're delicious. Oh, uh -huh. my God. No, to ride, <laughs> Alexander. I ride cowboys. Always. Always. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. Yeah. That's right. That's incredible. So each and every time I would I would volunteer, they, they would give me a horse. I'd, I was able to ride for three hours with everybody. A lot of celebrities would be involved. Mm -hmm. Mike was there. Mm -hmm. It was just a really great event yeah. that I felt Amazing. like I could be in a family atmosphere and lo and behold Married. who would have thought i would have ended up meeting my my life partner that's mm. awesome that's truly incredible that's awesome that's just a meant to be type How situation in the world i had been part of such a wonderful giving community for 12 13 yeah. years because of the song yep mm. and yep. then i become a part of that community by fulfilling my my soulmate, finding my soulmate. I love awesome. it. All right, Pepper, okay. where can fans uh, Where can everyone find, find you? At? you? Yeah. Facebook.com, I'm all over. <laughs> Pride Nation slash Pepper, PNN, I'm, I'm with them out of Palm Springs. But just come to Facebook and talk to me. Yes. Yeah, please awesome. do, awesome. guys. Talk make sure. Sure. And Mike, what about you? What, what, just uh, give them one more time. Facebook, uh, Miracle Mike, and also um, uh, I am MiracleMike.com. Thank you so much. Awesome. Again, you guys. you guys, an hour has flown. Flown oh by. Thank you both <laughs> Thank so you Natasha, very much for being too. here. Thank and you, Natasha. Natasha. Thank you Thank for you, Natasha. Um, And remember, tomorrow oh. night, Pe uh, Pepper's going to be with us live at Don't Mama at 8 o'clock along with Federal Blon, Robin Spangler, um, Julie who, Goldman. Julie Goldman. Oh, Patrick my God. Goldman. Yeah, I and, love and, her. And Broadway Bodies. We're going to be exercising what? a little bit. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to be working And so, guys, next week we've got Tam. Tom Sandoval. From Tom. And the Diamond Bell. Uh, it's gonna be a great show, so we'll see you next time. Y'all feeling good? Well, you know I'm feeling mighty good tonight. But you see, baby, it's a little hot in here. In more ways than one. So I've got a little proposal to make to 